at the intersection of what is and what can be. Our stories are written. It's where decisions are made and lives are ultimately defined. In which way you go when staring at this fork in the road can mean everything. Maybe you go left, take the easy path, minimal upside, minimal downside, proven and tangible. It gives immediate identity, but also brings with it some degree of regret, not because you won't like who you are, but because you'll never know what you could have been. Maybe you can't live with that. Maybe you go right. Let's say you roll the dice, dream chaser, eyes fixated on the horizon, moving toward it, soon to realize that the world you live in will bring you to your knees faster than you can blink. That uncertainty hurts, that effort without immediate validation is pain, and that the road less traveled is less traveled because of the difficulty associated with it. And now you have a, a very important question to ask yourself. Do you have what it takes? Can you see the big picture when the sky appears to be falling down around you? When all it takes is to backpedal and be comfortable again, to take the other road, to return to what you knew, can you still move forward? See, it's a funny thing when you're in pain, it becomes very easy to forget why you began. The pragmatic human brain sees discomfort as a problem and it wants it gone immediately. People don't give up because they're cowards. They don't quit because they don't have what it takes. They give up because they can no longer see the big picture. They forgot why they started. When all you see is directly in front of you, you lose the ability to see your finish line. When you're at a crossroad, you have to know this. If you take the hard road, you are betting on the future at the expense of the present. Dreams are a sacrifice. They're not some fluffy concept invented to prop you up after a hard day. Sure, they're the top of the mountain, but they're also the bottom. They're the dirt, the rocks, the scratching, the clawing. They're what people don't see. The chapters that are not read aloud. And when you're in it, when you are truly in it, uncertainty needs to be embraced like it's the wind to your sails. You signed that dotted line for a reason, because you can see past the immediate, the now, because to get to the top, you start at the ground floor and you elevate past every single level that stands between you and your dream. Now will not intimidate or discourage because you are bigger than right now. You are the pages unwritten. And you did what so few people are willing to do. You didn't look at the pen, you picked it up. Now write, write a story for the ages.